YouTube channel, I just hit an exciting milestone, which is 6,000 subscribers. I never dreamed that I would ever even get to 500 subscribers, let alone 6,000 subscribers on this channel. So I am so happy. I appreciate each and every one of you who is a subscriber to my channel. It means so much to me that so many other people have a passion for dolls like I do. I started this channel because I always appreciated the people who shared their doll knowledge with the doll community and I thought I know a little bit about dolls so I'll share what I do know out there with folks and maybe somebody will be interested and so I've been really overwhelmed with the positive response that I've had to my channel and I thank you guys so much for that. Now I have an exciting announcement to make along with that and that is the Muñecas, Poupes and Dolls BJD Scholarship. So what is a BJD Scholarship? If you've ever applied for a college scholarship, you know that that is applying to get money to assist you with tuition at college. Well, the BJD scholarship is going to be a $500 scholarship, which will be used to purchase a BJD for you. So it is going to have an application process. This is not going to be one of those things where you screenshot and share and, and you're entered. A scholarship usually involves a lengthy application process. And while this one's not lengthy, it is going to be a video application process. After all, this is YouTube and videos are what's fun on YouTube. So I'm going to give you guys the rules and uh, talk a little bit about the uh, application process. And I just want to do this as a way to give back to everybody in the doll community. Doll collecting is such a joy for me. I think think that shows in my videos how much I really love it and I want to share that love uh, with somebody else and so that's why I really wanted to do this for a long time and I thought 6,000 subscribers is a great kind of threshold to say okay let's go ahead and do this thing. So let's go through the rules first and then I'm going to tell you what you have to do to apply. Actually let me tell you what you have to do to apply first. So there's going to be a video application. In the video application you need to tell me a little bit about yourself so that's the first thing. Second thing is you need to tell me about the first doll that you've ever owned, whether it be as a child or if you didn't have dolls as a child, maybe as an adult, what's the first doll that you had and that you owned and just kind of tell me about that. Number three, tell me what your dream doll would be. So if you got this scholarship, this $500 BJD scholarship, what would you use it for? What type of doll would you get? And you can see the dolls that I have sitting out here. These are all examples of dolls that could be purchased uh, with a $500 BJD scholarship. So these all fall into that price category. And if you don't know what doll that you're wanting, kind of give me an idea about, you know, what you're looking for in a doll and what your ideas are. And if it comes to the point that you win the scholarship and you're awarded the scholarship and you don't know what BJD you want to get with your scholarship money, I will be more than happy to help you uh, choose the BJD that you want. And then the last one is tell me why you want to win the scholarship and why I should choose your application as the winner. So I want to know why. Why do you want this scholarship? Now, as for me personally, a lot of different things kind of tug at me. I like funny things. I like things that are really well thought out. I like things that are well deserving. So you can kind of think about those things as you're wanting to develop your video because I am going to choose the application which I feel best suits the application process here. So there are some rules as with any uh, scholarship or any giveaway I've got some rules and I know this is not necessarily the easiest thing to apply for but I want to put all these things out there so that you guys would be aware. First one is you have to be 18 years old or older. 18 years old is the age in the United States that's considered an adult. If you don't, if you're not 18 years old and you want to apply, you need to have a parent or guardian in your application video with you so that I know they're okay with you applying for this. This is open to anybody in the world. So wherever you are in the world, you are more than welcome to order that. But that being said, customs fees are the responsibility of the recipient. So if you're not in the United States and you're in a country that charges customs fees for your BJD, when your BJD arrives, you will be responsible for paying those customs fees because I have no way of knowing what those are and I have no way to prepay those. So that becomes the responsibility of the recipient. So here's how it works. 
I will purchase the doll and I will have it shipped to your address. So I'm not going to just send $500 to someone. I'm going to actually purchase the doll for you and have it shipped to you. If you have leftover money from your $500, so $500 is the limit. $500 has to include your doll and your shipping. But let's say you get a less expensive doll that's around $300 and there's extra money left over. You can spend that money on Etsy for accessories or wherever and I will purchase those items as well and have them sent to you so that you can get the full value of your $500 scholarship. So that could be wigs, shoes, clothes, what have you. Now some of these dolls, like the Smart Doll for example, would top out right around your $500. Bucks, so you would just be getting the doll and nothing else. But a doll leaves doll, and this is a doll leaves body with a different head, but they're a little less expensive, and so you could use some extra money for accessories. The Atelier Mamoni Petusas, for example, run around 400 US dollars, so that would leave you with some extra money for wigs, accessories, things like that you may want. So you may want to think about that. If this is your very first BJD and you have nothing to go with it, and you want to get a few accessories, you might want to pick a BJD that's around the $300, $400 mark so you can use that extra money to get yourself some accessories and things like that. Um, okay, so this is one that's gonna make some people sad, but if you're a close personal friend of mine, you cannot enter, and I'm sorry guys, but I don't want to be, I'll automatically be biased towards those of you that I hold near and dear to my heart and that we're good friends, and so I have to remove the bias from this competition and so you guys just cannot participate i'm sorry it's kind of like if you read the rules and regulations when companies do giveaways it always says like relatives and stuff cannot apply that's kind of the situation here um you must fill out the application form and i'll leave a link to the application form below in the comments and you have to submit a video the video cannot be longer than 10 minutes so those video uh, expectations I told you below you need to keep that video under 10 minutes long the winning application video will be posted to my YouTube channel so it will be here on this YouTube channel so that being said you might not want to give a whole lot of really personal information in your application video because it is by you submitting your video you are giving me permission to post it here to this channel so that is another kind of caveat here of this uh, scholarship when your doll arrives, so this is rule number 10, I ask for one of the two following. Either an unboxing video, because you guys know I love to do unboxings on this channel, so either an unboxing video of you with your new doll that I can post here on the channel, or if you feel uncomfortable doing an unboxing video, I would at least like some unboxing photos that you can send me that I can post to Instagram so that everybody that's following along in this competition can see the winner and what they receive and I think people will be really excited to see that. And then the last one is you need to be somewhat active in the doll community. So you need to either, even if you don't have any dolls and you're not sharing pictures of dolls, I'd like for you to at least to be somebody that interacts frequently with um, either my YouTube channel, and I know who you are if you frequently interact, or you interact a lot on Instagram or in other doll forums. So when you go through the application process, you'll see one of the questions is what is your name in the doll community? And that's so I can find you. Like my name in the doll community is Muñecas Pupes Dolls. That's what where you find all my information or that's how I interact. So if you have a name like that that you interact under, I'll need to know that just so that I know who you are. And it's okay if you don't have any dolls yet, but I would expect that if you're really into dolls and you really like dolls, you will be interacting with other doll pages and doll forums and doll Instagram accounts and things like that. So, Because I really want this uh, prize to go to somebody who really loves and appreciates dolls and is going to really have a good time with their new BJD. So just to let you know what's on the application form when you go to fill it out, it's going to be just your name. I need to know your city and your state or province or whatever in your country. I don't need your full address at this point. I just kind of want to know where you're from in the world. I'll need to know your age. I'll need to know your name in the doll community. And then you'll need to paste a link to your video. So the way that you want to make your video is you either want to put it in Dropbox or you can upload it to Google Drive and then get a shareable link and send me that link so that I can watch your video. So I reserve the right anytime to add rules because people tend to find um, or they ask questions or find weird loopholes that don't really make sense. So if I've left something out 
at any point I reserve the right to add that, which reminds me of one thing. I do need your video either to be in English or Spanish, because I can understand both of those, or at a minimum, it needs to be subtitled in English so that I know what you're actually saying in the video. And that's just, it's because that's, you know, the languages I understand and I'll have to be able to understand your application to, to judge it. So I will have a rubric that I'm going to be judging the applications based on. I'm going to need all of the applications by October the 10th. So that gives me time, that gives you time until October the 10th to come up with your application and it gives me time to review them. I'm going to announce the winner on October 19th, which is my birthday. So I think it'll be really cool to announce the recipient of the Muñecos, Pupes, and Dolls BJD scholarship on my birthday. I just think that'll be fun. So I just want to give back and I want to bring joy to somebody. And, um, you know, I just think it's an exciting thing to do. And this is one of those competitions where it's not going to be a random drawing. It is going to be based on your content and the quality of your application. And I don't mean the quality of your video. You can record this with your cell phone camera. I mean, it is not, you know, it's not that you don't need quality like that, but just how you present yourself and kind of what you tell me. For example, when you're telling me why you want the doll, maybe you want to start an Instagram and have, you know, doll pictures. Maybe you want to have a doll to sew for that, that you're interested in that. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel and you want a doll so that you can do dress up videos and things like that. So just kind of, you know, that sort of thing that what do you want to do with your doll and why do you want the doll? So anyway, I know that's a lot, and that's a, kind of asking a lot uh, for somebody to do to win a $500 doll, but it is a $500 BJD of your choice, so whatever's available, and I will give you until, I'm going to announce the winner October 19th, I will give until the end of March of 2021 to choose your doll in case you're waiting for a pre-order to open that hasn't opened yet, or if you need some time deciding, so I'm going to give you a good amount of time whoever wins to actually think about and choose their goal. So you've got, you don't have to choose right away. So you've got some time to think it through. So I hope that this will be popular and I hope that people will like it. Um, I've done giveaways before that nobody participated in, but I'm hoping that this is something that you guys can get excited about. And I hope that um, I get some cool entries. I'd like to see what you guys come up with. And if you know somebody that would be interested in this, please share this video. Um, I really want to get the word out that, you know, I really want to award somebody deserving of a BJD so that just to share the doll love, grow the doll community. You know, the more collectors, I always say, the more doll collectors there are, the better it is for all of us because we can continue to sustain the people that make our dolls and the people that make clothing for our dolls and wigs for our dolls. And so I think we're just, we're better as a community and that's the whole point of this. Okay guys, if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to leave it for me in a comment below. If you have something really detailed that's personal question for you, you can always message me on Instagram. That's the fastest and easiest way for you to get a hold of me directly. I check those messages more frequently. You know, with YouTube, it's comments back and forth. But if you have something that's more detailed, feel free to message me on Instagram and I will try to get back to you. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think this is a good idea? You know, do you plan to enter? Please share it with anybody that you think might be interested. I really want to get the word out. I really want to be able to award this scholarship to somebody who really is deserving and wants a, a, a doll and will really appreciate it. And I, like I've said, want to just share the love of doll collecting with someone else and with all of you. And so guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, looking forward to seeing some applications come in and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.